The groundbreaking thing about this project is the fact that it's on communal land. This area is burdened with human wildlife conflicts, so the natural mindset has been a negative attitude towards that wildlife. And it's taken years and years of working with the communities, employing local uh, members of the communities in tourism, in wildlife conservation, for the communities to understand the value of wildlife and um, be able to actually give some of their land away for wildlife and for these rhino in particular. We are the Cobras Community Wildlife Protection Unit. Every single one of the guys is, is from one of the local villages. Um, these guys come with local knowledge. Um, they've lived on the front line of, of Wangi National Park and the local communities. And each one of them supports probably a household of six to ten people. So the salaries are rippling throughout the communities in terms of impact and not only in terms of the financial benefits but also in terms of education. So you've got kids whose uncle, whose brother, whose dad is a scout and obviously that has a, a big impact in the communities in terms of raising awareness about the rhino and what we're trying to do. I believe personally that taking from the local community uh, means that intelligence is a lot easier, intelligence gathering which is probably 80% of the job. Basically what's going to happen is uh, you're going to get our little, uh, our little talk, uh, you'll get a brief from your guide and we will go for a little walk and you'll get to go and interact with those right now on a personal uh, basis. You can track them if you want, um, you'll be able to spend some, some time in their absolutely natural habitats, uh, very, very relaxed and um, no, no other vehicles around, no vehicles moving around or anything like that, it's just going to be you and the rhino. Perfect. A great thing about this rhino project is that it sparks the appetite of the tourists for them to come and view the rhino but also find out about all the other projects that Invelo is involved with. Because this rhino project very much is interlinked linked with all the community projects that Invelo does. So when tourists come they not only find out about the rhino and the cobras and the scouts and the conservation activities we're doing but also about everything else we're doing from food to water to healthcare to education. This project is very much a pilot project to show other communities living further along the boundary of Wangi National Park the value that these rhino can bring. And once other communities understand and see the benefits, then hopefully they'll want to be part of this program. So we're designing the program very much step by step because it has to be done with the local people and it has to be done on their terms because it's on their land and ultimately it's their, their project. Going forward, it's going to be quite a few more recruitments from the local area, from the local villages. Um, and uh, moving on to Sanctuary 2 and 3, a little bit further down the fence towards the southwest, um, and with the eventual view of joining all of those sanctuaries up. The long term plan of the Rhino project is obviously to reintroduce Rhino to the area to have a viable breeding population in this area that's seen the disappearance of the Rhino. But it's also to actually um, engage the communities and also protect them from wildlife overspilling from the park into their communal lands. So at the moment with the geography of this area you have a lot of elephants, a lot of predators coming into villages and destroying crops or attacking domestic livestock and causing a lot of havoc. What we're hoping to do with the sanctuary is create a physical buffer zone through, through innovative fencing to reduce those conflicts um, quite massively. So the communities benefiting in terms of employment, in terms of um, funds from the rhino, but also in terms of better protection from, from animals from inside the park that might be coming into their villages and, and being, a, being a big burden. Getting these rhino back here and uh, putting them back into this ecosystem um, is just something that I believe, considering we caused the, the problem, um, I, I believe that as human beings, we, we have to do this in every sort of area where they used to be.